Wow, 2020 has been a year. Welcome back everybody. It has been far too long since I've seen all your smiling faces. My name is Ross Thomas, otherwise known as the Brotographer here on the internet. 2020, all right. So it's been almost a year since I've seen you, but I have, well, my wife has had a baby, uh, bought a Tesla, uh, bought a cinema camera, David Gomar and I started a brand new production company. We've been crushing it, had our, my gym shut down, reopened, worked out outside, crazy wildfires. It has been a year. So 2020 has actually been a year of growth for me. Yes, I've bought a cinema camera, which is sitting right here, but I think that the biggest area for growth for me has actually come from lighting. And that's kind of what I want to talk to you about today. So I reached out to IntelliTech a while back and asked if I could use and review their fast frame, and, which is their diffusion uh, panel, and also their X100 light cannon. P.S. This thing is a beast for how small it is. But to be honest with you, the thing that I learned the most from was the fast frame. So the fast frame is this five by six and a half foot aluminum frame that holds a diffusion panel and also a grid if you decide to use it on there. David and I do a lot of interview based content, but also a lot of product photography and product video. And this thing has come in so clutch, honestly, probably more clutch than any other piece of gear that I own. It is so easy to set up. I'm gonna cut to a clip right now in real time where I actually set up the fast frame just to show you how fast it is. So the fast frame is real simple. It's an aluminum frame that breaks down with a diffusion panel on it. You've got two male ends that you can take off and adjust around various points of the frame. What I like to do is to put them into the top knuckle of a C-stand. One thing that I like to do for interviews with the fast frame is to set it wherever the sun is. But I use the fast frame behind them to create that soft look. Before I use the fast frame, I would just have the sun hit them from the back and there'd be a really harsh line on the side of their head and also on their shoulder and back. But with a giant diffusion panel like this, it creates such soft light. Another one of my favorite ways to use the fast frame is to actually shoot through a softbox, whether we're doing product photography or product video, shoot through a diffuse softbox, then shoot through the fast frame. You're essentially doubling the size of that softbox, which if you know lighting at all, creates an even softer look to your image. And you can absolutely tell the difference. You know, I've shot projects on my Sony 8-bit cameras. I've shot projects on my Zcam F6, my 10-bit, 6k camera and you can get really good images out of that 8-bit lower quality camera just because the quality of light coming from that fast frame it's diffused it's giant just because of that aspect of your shoot i've used it on you know 10 or 12 shoots already and obviously if you're shooting anything commercial that pays for itself already but it's done a really good job in terms of build quality for just how light it is i honestly haven't had any problem with any of the hinges or mechanisms in it at all like you saw in that setup video that i showed you i would encourage you to keep the diffusion panel set on it all the time so you can pull it out of the bag set it up you know hit the corners and you're good to go Overall, I can honestly say that the six and a half by five foot fast frame has really changed the work that I do. Having diffusion and the right type of diffusion has really changed my work. So thank you IntelliTech for sending it out. I'm gonna continue to use it on the majority of my shoots. And uh, it's a product that I can highly recommend and that I think is gonna really change the way that people work. It's priced well, $379. There are some other offerings that are near $1,000 for the same size, but it's priced well. You can get a couple of them, grab a couple C stands with the money you've saved. Man, that fast frame has really changed the way that I work. It's allowed me to get some amazing quality footage. The light is so soft. And when I'm shooting product photography, having a giant source allows me to get 
that soft lighting that really makes a difference and I think looks like a commercial look to my clients and it's something that's just invaluable and I think could be invaluable for you as well. Now before I go, I do want to touch on one more product that IntelliTech sent out to me. This is their X100 light cannon light and I would compare this to something like the Aperture 120D Mark II. However, you are able to change the color temperature on this light and it's stunning. Uh, the build quality is stunning. It has a built-in Fresnel lens in front in addition to the Bowens mount. The yoke on the light is fantastic. Even if I loosen it all the way, it still has a decent amount of resistance, which I actually appreciate. The yoke is great. I can use it on a C-stand and I'll have to worry about it wobbling or anything like that because the build quality is just that good. One of my favorite uses for this light is to use it as a hair light, even during the day. So because it has a built-in Fresnel, you can do the spot on the Fresnel. I plug it into a little electric battery I have, even when we're on location, and I'm able to get a nice rim light on the background, on the back or the shoulder of the subject that I'm shooting for something like an interview on location. And it does a great job. I think it punches well above its weight class. I would definitely recommend that you use some of the money you saved when you bought that fast frame compared to some of the other way more expensive products and buy something like the X100. With all that being said, thank you so much for being here. I know it's been a while. It has been a crazy year for all of us, but I'm, I'm honestly so excited to show you the things that I've learned. I've learned about new products, how to shoot, new lighting and all that good stuff. And there will be several more videos in the future telling you all about it. But I will see you in the next one. Peace.